everyone, it's Magenta here at Supply Frames Design Lab. Welcome to Engineering Smarter with Samtech. On this episode, we tour Gray Hills Electronics Manufacturing Facility with their VP of Operations, Jamie Dobrovic. Gray Hill works with the top manufacturers in agriculture, medical, and more to produce intuitive human computer interfaces that bridge the gap between complex technology and the average user. Grayhill has been in business for over 75 years and really is a human interface company. What is exciting about uh, all of our engineering groups is that they're focused on uh, the particulars of that industry. Uh, our engineers uh, in the ag construction business units know what farmers want uh, for their layout of their controls on a tractor or combine. Uh, many of them have actually driven those vehicles in the uh, at farms and, and know what the challenges the farmers face. It's that type of uh, dedicated engineering to those markets that puts Grayhill ahead of its competition. When you're designing a human interface, there's a lot of factors to take into account, but the biggest one is the human itself. And that's why when we're doing prototypes, we'll often have multiple samples with different tactile feel as far as how much force it takes to press a button or how much force it takes to turn the encoder or rotary switch inside the unit. Um, being able to get quick samples and put something in front of the customer that they can touch and feel is imperative to getting the design fleshed out to where they want it quickly. And that's a place where Samtech really helps Grayhill. Uh, it helps us on two fronts. One, I feel Samtech has some of the best tools available for being able to go to the website, configure, and download a 3D model of a connector so that I can put that right on one of our new products. It eliminates the time of me drawing the connector, plus it eliminates any error that could come from me making a mistake in that interface. Um, the second thing that Samtech, in my opinion, has always been head and shoulders above the competition on is being able to get samples quickly. If we're only working off of 3D models, you, you really don't get the, the true feel of the product in its intended application. You need to be able to put it in a tractor, on an ultrasound, to be able to see how it truly performs and how it works in the application. And with the vertical integration inside of Grayhill, we can really go from that concept drawing to a sample part very quickly. I mean, we have our uh, internal molding facilities, we have internal machining capability, and as you've seen today, we have a full capability from surface mount through uh, assembly and test. As I said, I deal with a lot of suppliers. The way Samtech approaches problems and supply chain problems is far superior to a number of their competitors. Uh, they're very good with communication. Uh, we, you know, when we're lying down, we're gonna want a conference call and we're gonna wanna talk to people that can make decisions. Samtech has helped us with that in every case. Um, we had a major customer go lying down that's uh, supplied the oil and gas industry. Um, Samtech went out of its way to move terminals between countries so that they could mold uh, connectors to be used in that oil and gas application. What I've always been impressed with, whether it be a supply chain, meaning we can't get the parts issue, or a potential quality problem, I've always thought Samtech has been very forthright in, with information. They don't try to sweep it under the rug and they stand behind their products. And with the markets that we serve, which are high reliability uh, and long product life cycle, uh, we need that type of supplier at Grayhill. Grayhill is a company focused on providing safe and efficient human interface components in critical industries that cannot afford to settle for anything less but the best. Samtech solutions allow them to engineer smarter, developing their signature products accurately and efficiently. Stay tuned for more episodes from Design Labs.